Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin as I believe we are getting ready for the next leg up for Bitcoin heading higher. And so we can see on the chart here, we do have a bullish momentum indicator popping up right around at the bottom there at $63,000. We did see a bounce now trading around $70,000. And so since the bull market here, we have seen these bullish momentum indicators continue to pop up. And they have been very consistent and very accurate. And so if you're interested in this type of information and integrating this tool into your trading view, you can check out the link underneath the video to HG Algo. And also, if you're interested, there is a link underneath the video to Mexi, which is a trading platform with some of the lowest fees in the cryptocurrency space. And so if you go ahead and make a deposit there, you can earn up to $20,000 to pay for trading fees. And so let's go ahead and jump right into the video here. Let's take a look at some news and why I am so bullish on Bitcoin over the next couple of days. And so we have China's central bank restarting treasury bond trade after taking a break for two decades. So they're looking at injecting liquidity into the economy to help bring down interest rates. And so at that same time, they're also looking at introducing a spot Bitcoin ETF, the same thing that happened to the US in January. They're looking at launching that as early as May. So we're only talking about a month out from now. And this would be extremely bullish for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as Asia has always led the cryptocurrency markets in the past. If you were here in 2021, Asia was definitely injecting a ton of money into the cryptocurrency markets. And so if they go ahead and launch this Bitcoin spot ETF, this is going to be extremely bullish for Bitcoin moving forward. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some other news. As I mentioned here, they are responsible for a lot of the Bitcoin trading. And so traders in South Korea, China and other Asian countries are responsible for roughly 70% of Bitcoin trading volumes much like they were in 2021 when Bitcoin hit the $70,000 highs. And so we can see here Asia accounted for $791 billion of the $1.17 trillion worth of Bitcoin trading in February with North American investors leading way behind with $113 billion broadly reflecting a trend seen since November. And so a lot of the money that's going into Bitcoin is actually coming from Asia. Now imagine when they start introducing a spot Bitcoin ETF, right? We're seeing a ton of money flow into the ETFs in America. However, if we start seeing an ETF in China and they already account for 70% of the volumes, we're going to see massive movements in Bitcoin when this is introduced. And so let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin that is currently on exchanges. So what Bitcoin is currently available to purchase on exchanges, this has been consistently dropping, right? And so people are taking their Bitcoin off exchanges, storing it in cold storage wallets and hanging on to it. They're not selling it. And so we can see this is dropping substantially. There's only 1.7 million Bitcoin still on exchanges. Now, that sounds like a lot. However, there's only about 19.5 million Bitcoin today. There's going to be 21 million total after all of the Bitcoin has been mined. And so this is going to create a supply shock. And so if there's 1.7 million remaining to buy on exchanges and uh, Bitcoin ETFs today already hold a massive portion of this. And so since March 1st here, we can see that spot funds overall held 776,000 Bitcoin, right? And so that's almost half of what is available on exchanges. And so that just shows this is just the Bitcoin ETFs in the US holding almost 4% of all Bitcoin in existence. Now imagine what happens when China approves a Bitcoin ETF since they are the biggest players in the space. There's going to be a lot of Bitcoin being purchased and there's only a limited supply. There's only a limited availability on the exchanges, which is going to cause a liquidity crunch, which is going to drive up the price dramatically. And so we can see that the number of Bitcoin is continuing to increase that is being held on the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And so we can see here back at the beginning of February, there was roughly 28 billion dollars being held in the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now there's roughly 58 billion, right? That is almost 822,000 Bitcoin that is being held by the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And so as I mentioned, there's about 1.7 million Bitcoin available to purchase on exchanges. So that is the balance. This is continuing to drop down here 
And then we're going to see a spot Bitcoin ETF approved in Hong Kong, which is going to draw a lot of this liquidity out, right? I mean, if they're holding 822,000 Bitcoin, now this number is going to drop in half. We're going to see retail starting to jump on board as the price of Bitcoin continues to increase. And so we're going to see a liquidity crunch. We're going to see the price start driving up of Bitcoin. And so this is definitely something to be paying attention to. So in addition to that, we also have another um, catalyst coming up which is the Bitcoin having which is coming up in less than 30 days and so you can see here that the spot Bitcoin ETS bought 3,535 Bitcoin yesterday while miners only produced 850 Bitcoin now with the Bitcoin having this amount of Bitcoin that's being produced is going to be cut in half and so instead of 850 Bitcoin being produced per day we're gonna see that down to about 425 and so when the supply is getting cut in half However, demand is continuing to increase, right? We're still seeing an increase with the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US. Now, when the ETFs launch in China, we're going to see more demand yet. However, the amount of supply being produced is going to be cut in half, which is going to cause more of a liquidity crunch yet. And so, as I mentioned, that's coming up here very shortly. We're only looking 22 days away. And so, this is going to hit at about the same time as the ETF is approved in Hong Kong, and so it's gonna be very bullish moving forward. And so a chart that I would like to take a look at here that I find very interesting is the comparison between gold and Bitcoin. Now these do not mirror each other identically, however, these are very similar. And so if we start seeing gold move up, Bitcoin usually follows. And so this is something to be paying attention to here. We can see that this broke out and it's went from about $2,000, now it's trading around $2,230, and so we could start seeing a leg up here on Bitcoin that would match up with this indicator here on HGLGO that also has indicated that there is bullish momentum moving forward. So definitely something to be paying attention to as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. And make sure to check out that link underneath the video to HGLGO and MEXC if you're interested in signing up for a different platform. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.